Okay, so um, they, and, and, and the arts faculty always did right by our, our boys. My uncle, Lawrence Robbins, passed away about uh, two months ago. Um, and I think an announcement went out and, and you know, with his biography, he was uh, born in Flint, Michigan, a proud product of, of uh, Flint High School, University of Michigan, University of Minnesota. And um, he was very, very good at what he did. Uh, after he left the University of Minnesota, he went to work for a very, very famous architect. All of this is in the announcement, but his, real, his first major project was the World Trade Center. You know, the one that, that, that uh, those, those people from across the ocean came and, and knocked down. And, and so I couldn't think of a better way to remember my Uncle Larry, who was dedicated to his craft, to teaching others his craft, to trying to fuse form and function in a way that was beautiful, but always focused on people who used it to make the world you know, a better place. And my uncle built schools, and he built synagogues and churches, and, you know, he, and, and he felt very badly at the end of his life what happened to his building you know, that got knocked down. And I think it shows two things. One, how hard it is to create, how easy it is to destroy. And, um, you know, what, what's about this area, what you do, and what you do is about, you know, creation. And it's something that we, frankly, I don't think emphasize enough. This school is, is a bit ahead of the curve, and hopefully we can you know, use this as a jumping off to make it even more so. Um, because, you know, the, the, the creation, Rob Cook, you know, famously wrote about 100 years ago that literature and painting and sculpture were, in effect, a, a way of, of, of reenacting God's creation of the world. And that if there is one talent or person has a talent, one brush that's still, it has to be actualized. And that the visual artist, and this is a visual arts award, right, he says that the visual artist is, again, reenacting creation and bringing it down and, and making the world a better place and uplifting. And I know what my kids got from here. You can see the work that other kids have gotten from here. And, you know, art, and where's Danielle? Where'd you go? Are you still here? Yeah. Okay. So you do really good work. Now, Rob Cook, you know, Rob Cook said that Rembrandt, he was quoted in the Jewish newspaper in 1935, he said, Rembrandt was a saint. Because at the time of creation, God lock, locked away this light that allowed you to see from one end of the world to the other. And he locked it away because he was afraid of what evil people would do with it. But every so often, along comes somebody who's really good, you know, a good person, a saint. And that person is given the power to use that light. And when he looked at Rembrandt's paintings, he saw that light. Now, my uncle wasn't Rembrandt. You might be. I don't know. We, we've got to see. But he used it for good. And as an artist, and as somebody who's come through here, you're you know, heir to a tradition here, but you're also heir to a much longer artistic tradition, Western artistic tradition, you know, which we are a part. And there are going to be people who will tell you that there are no standards, there is no, quote, right way to do things. And to some extent, that's right. There is no one right way to do things. We all create. That's, we're all different. There are standards. And my uncle, as I said, he taught, and, and the thing he liked most of all was teaching architecture students. What he was about at the end of the day was excellent. And so it gives me such great pleasure on behalf of the family to be able to have you be the first person to win this award. It's your work is excellent. And you should build on that excellence and use it to, you know, like Rob Cook said, reenact creation and make the world a better place. Wonderful. So thank you. Thank you.